Thermocouples are rock stars of mechanical engineering. This is a thermometer unit where you can plug in two different thermocouples. These things with the yellow plugs have been around for a long time and they're not going anywhere. So I'm running a test print right now. I have new insulation on the walls of my printer and I have the thermocouple dangling back there. Let's see, yep, yeah, there's a little wire. I think you can see it. So this is a thermocouple on like an eight foot wire and all of the action happens right there at that little bitty tip. Come on. So this thing is also a thermocouple, but it's not nearly as cool as this one. So we've got a fiberglass wrapping that can withstand hundreds of degrees of heat. Um, and we have precision on the location where we want to know the temperature. So if I wanted to check the temperature of the surface of this metal, then as you can see clearly, the simple one has the advantage of knowing exactly where I want to measure that temperature at a very specific point. Whereas this one uh, has the same module on the inside. This is a junction of two different metals. And, um, but we don't know if we're measuring the temperature of this steel. This is better for dipping into a fluid if you want to measure the average temperature of, of a fluid that may be mixing. So this sensor is only like a dollar a piece because they're made in such high volume. And I could leave them routed to have one in this printer and one in this printer and one in this printer, one in the ambient. And I can just plug in when I need to monitor something. I say that thermocouples are rock stars because you would never take a course on data acquisition and not hear about thermocouples or a course on instrumentation or you would never find a mechanical engineering graduate who doesn't know what a thermocouple is. It's sort of like a fundamental tool for us nowadays. You might have one of these already and you don't even know it because it's on your multimeter. A lot of these multimeters have a dial setting for degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, and all that's doing is getting ready to plug in a thermocouple with two terminals and then measure the resistance and do a little bit of math to give you a reading in Fahrenheit. Is that useful to anyone? And did anyone find one of these today on their multimeter?